Hearts have sacked Robbie Nielsen. Now they need to appoint a new manager. The search is on to see who should replace Robbie. But I'm going to tell you who shouldn't replace Robbie. And that is Mr. 460 himself, Craig Levine. Is this some sort of sick joke? Is this some sort of late April Fool's bullshit? Why is this guy's name even being considered? Why is his name being thrown about for the Hearts vacancy? He's already had two spells at the club. The first one okay fair enough done a decent job the second one was an absolute fucking embarrassment he left the club as an absolute joke he was head manager couldn't take us anywhere the club was one, so, at one of the worst points I've ever seen the club in my life and then he moved into his nice wee cushy director of football role he equally sucked at that and Hearts ended up getting relegated we were back into turmoil we looked shite we were horrible we went down to the championship it was an abysmal season it was an abysmal couple of years and it didn't help that this guy was at the club. I'm not saying he was 100% to blame, but he was a huge part to blame. He shouldn't even have had a second chance at Hearts. After what he'd done with Scotland, Mr. 460, playing zero strikers against a very average Czech Republic side in a game that we needed to get a result in. Are, are you shitting me? No strikers? 460? He thought he was some sort of tactical genius? No. He was just an absolute shite bag. So why is this guy even being considered? He's not had a managerial job since he's left Hearts and uh, nor should he let's be honest nor should he ever get a job again but it's not like he's even had an opportunity to like improve himself or for you to go oh well it looks like he's turned things around it looks like he's gotten a little bit better it looks like he's actually learned how not to be a complete fucking failure in life no the guy's done absolutely nothing so why would we give him his first job as manager since he left us in an absolute shit show it, it doesn't make any sense and I'm not talking like he is I'm not saying he's like you know top man I'm not saying he's favourite to get the job but the bookmaker have them at 16 to 1, which puts them in ninth place. So according to the bookmakers, there is only eight managers more likely to get the job than Craig Levine. And that is pretty scary, guys. This he shouldn't be in the top 100 managers. He shouldn't even be like 500 to 1. This guy, there shouldn't even be odds on this guy being the next Hearts manager. He shouldn't be the next manager of anybody. Maybe fucking McDonald's or something like that, but certainly not a football club and certainly not the third biggest football club in Scotland, man. So please, Craig Levine, I don't hate you or anything like that, but but, you know, honestly, get the fuck. Listening to your shit punditry on BBC Sports Scotland is enough. I hear you moaning, complaining and, and, and bitching on that every single week. I don't need to see you back as the manager of my club. So please, respectively, if you get offered this job, and I don't know why you would. I, don't, I honestly do not know why you would. But if you do, then you've got to politely turn it down. For the sake of mankind, do not take this. Do not put us through all this shite again. Do the right thing, Craig Lafine. I'm hoping it doesn't even come to that. I'm hoping that no one actually seriously takes this guy as a you know actual candidate. But stranger things have happened. We've got Sleepy Joe in the fucking White House. So you know, if, if, if Joe Biden can be president, I'm sure this guy can get a third run at hearts. But it should never happen, guys, because he absolutely sucks. Alright, so now that we've dealt with Craig Lafine, it is time to look at who could seriously be the next manager of Hearts. So Bet Victor have obviously got a short list. I mean, they call it a short list here, but it's actually a very long list. This list is like the length of my fucking arm. I don't know if I'm going to go through every single person, but we'll at least go through like the top 20, 25, and I'll discuss my opinions on them. But what does worry me is a lot of these managers are out of jobs. So that means they're not very good. I mean, normally when you're hiring someone who's unemployed, there is normally a reason for that. And I think the reason here is, yeah, a lot of these managers just are not that great. There's a lot of domestic level managers that have been at clubs and failed and have either left and maybe want to take time away from football because they acknowledge the fact that they're shit or they want to get back into football, but they can't because other clubs acknowledge the fact that they're shit. But the point is, a lot of these managers are shit, and I don't want any of them. I want as well, there is one manager that manages in Scotland that I would love to take, and that is Steve Clark. I think I've made that clear many a times. I'd do anything for Steve Clark, man. I would I'd commit murder for Steve Clark. I maybe have to delete that part, but I would. If we could get Steve Clark as manager of Hearts, I would do I'd do anything, man. I'd I'd get I'd, I'd blow up Tain Castle, man, I would. And we could play at some like reserve training ground. I don't know. But Steve Clark's the man. Steve Clark is the best manager I've seen in Scotland. And 
probably forever, let's be real. The guy's doing a tremendous job with the national team. What he did with Kilmarnock, he outscoring Brendan Rodgers' Celtic over a season, ca like an annual calendar, like a 365-day period calendar. I mean, that, that is crazy with a Kilmarnock side. Honestly, man, I would do anything for Steve Clark. I know some people don't think he's that good, but I think Steve Clark would win the league with us. I'll say that right now. Give him a couple of seasons. Steve Clark would have Hearts champion. But unfortunately, I don't think we can get Steve Clark, so there's no point rambling on about him any more. But yeah, like I said, a lot of these managers aren't very good. A lot of them are domestic level managers that just like switch around mediocre clubs. But we will we'll go through them all, and uh, I guess we'll come to a conclusion of who we want and who we don't want. So the, the favourite for the job is Stephen Naismith. Uh, it would be his first. It would be his first job as a head manager. Now he is working with Steve Clark in the Scotland setup, the coaching setup, and I think he's doing a pretty good job at that. Uh, before he got the job, he was also he was he's doing a job at Hearts as well. I mean. I don't know, it's, I think with Stephen Naismith, out of all these options, I think he'd probably be my preferred option because, like, we don't know if he sucks, you know, he hasn't had a job, he's not failed yet as a manager. However, like I said, he's got no experience and the last thing we can afford is, like, another Ian Cathro uh, situation, so, I mean, I, I wouldn't be super keen on Stephen Naismith, but I do believe out of most of these options, he is probably, he want, definitely one of the better options in my opinion, but... I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But Stevie Naismith is the favourite to get the job at 5-1. to one. Then we go down, we've got Frankie McAvoy. Uh, hasn't had a job since he left Preston. That was like two years ago. Why has he not had a job? I wonder why. Stephen Robinson, current St Mirren manager. I mean, he's doing a good job at St Mirren. But I, I don't, at the end of the day, the guy was sacked for Motherwell. I, I don't think he should get the Hearts job based on one decent season at St Mirren and he is doing a good job I'm not denying that but you've got to be honest a lot of the teams in the league this season are underperforming and I'm not saying St Mirren haven't been good they have been good they're the only team to beat Celtic that's got to count for something but I just don't think what he's done this season warrants getting the Hearts job now maybe if he can repeat it next season and you know show a couple of seasons where he can you know do it back to back then that, that's a different case but altogether but I don't know, on one season, I would be reluctant to give Stephen Robinson the job. And like I said, he, he, towards the end of his Mullerwell career, he was okay at Mullerwell, he'd done a decent job at Mullerwell, but come the end of it, you know, the, the fans want him gone, and that's the reason he did go. So I'm not convinced that Stephen Robinson should be the, uh, the next manager. Neil McFarlane hasn't had a job in three years. I mean, his last team was Kidderminster. Is that really the level we should be going for? I don't think so. Uh, Paul Lambert, 14-1. to 1. Last job at Stretch Town, again, hasn't been in a job in over two years. I mean, he, he's done okay Anytime I've seen him in a job, he's done okay, but that's not really what I'm hoping for. I'm not looking for a manager that does okay. I want a manager that does great, and I don't think Paul Lambert is that man. Uh, Gary Monk, again, not had a job in nearly three years. <sighs> I don't really rate him. Centre-back, turned manager, didn't really do much for me. Just because he managed, you know, a decent level down in England, that doesn't mean shit. You know, he was given a job, he wasn't good enough. I think he what, originally took over at Swansea. And yeah, didn't Swansea end up getting relegated under Gary Monk? So yeah, for me, no. Uh, Danny Cowley, previous team Portsmouth, he's recently just sacked. I don't know who Danny Cowley is, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I do. I don't know who Danny Cowley is, so. I mean, personally, it's a no. I mean, if I don't know who you are, then that's fair enough if you're foreign. If you're from like some weird, crazy you know, country that is like 10 million miles away, then that's fair enough. But if you're from like <laughs> a domestic, if you're from like Britain, and I've never heard of you, then there probably has a reason for that. So I'm going to say no to Danny Cowley. John Robertson, former Hearts man. I say former Hearts man, he is a Hearts man. But um, no, I'm going to say no. Again, he's already been at the club. Didn't do particularly great. Last job was at Inverness two years ago. Uh, for me, no. I like John Robertson. Look, Hearts legend. Can't deny that. Is he good enough? Is he the man that we really want to take us forward? Uh, no, in my opinion. Up next, Craig Lafayne. Fucking hell no. Hell to the no. Craig Lafayne should never get another job in Scottish football. Any football. Fuck it. Even Irish football. I wouldn't even get him a job in women's football. Honest to God, man. The guy is absolutely shocking. Uh, Billy Reid. I'm going to say no. David Posanini. Don't know who he is, but I'm still going to say no. We've got Marty 
Sifuentz, the current Ham Hammerby manager. Um, I don't know, it's a little bit exciting, don't get me wrong, when you see a European level manager being linked with a job. I mean, you're tempted to take a chance, but we have seen European level managers come into the, uh, you know, the <laughs> Scottish leagues before, and it doesn't always work out. Just because you're appointing somebody who's foreign doesn't mean they're going to be good. Um, they can be just as shite as British managers. Make no mistake about it. I don't really know enough about this guy though, so I can't say too much. Kevin Muscat, um, again, is a no for me. Hasn't had a job in three years. Nathan Jones, honestly. I don't want him, and I don't think we can get him. Realistically, anybody who's coming off, anyone whose last job is like a premiership team, the the decline in wages they would need to take, the the pay cut they would need to take from um you know from the English Premiership to Hearts it is insane, and it's a pay cut I don't think anyone would reasonably take. I'm not saying that you can't manage in the Premier League one day and end up at Hearts, but to go directly from a Premier League wage. To a heart's wage, it's unrealistic. You know what I mean? It's it's unlikely to happen again. It's like probably going from like a hundred k, you know, a hundred k a year annual salary job to like you know working for minimum wage in McDonald's. It's it's unlikely to happen. So I, I don't see I don't see Nathan Jones coming. And I don't want Nathan Jones to come either. To be honest, Neil McCann. Uh, it's a no for me. Hasn't had a job in nearly five years. He was at Dundee. Didn't do anything great at Dundee. And uh, yeah, I think I believe he got sacked for Dundee as well. Yeah, for me, for me, no. I mean, I like Neil McCann again, another former Hearts player, but nah, not not Neil McCann. Uh, Graham Arnold manages Australia. Maybe you know, I mean, we had An Ange Postecoglou used to manage Australia. Maybe why not Graham Arnold? Let's take a chance on this guy. You know what? Screw it. Is he fat like Ange? Does he like burgers like Ange? Screw it, bring him in. Is he a kangaroo lover like Ange? I'll take the chance on him. Bring in Graham Arnold. If, if he's from that side of the continent, man, if he's from is he if he's from that side of the world, then you know, get give him an opportunity. Uh we've got Seslo Misha Nisha Shishich from uh, Poland. I don't know if I pronounced his name correctly there. I probably didn't, but anyway, he um he's just currently he's only just left the Poland national team. He was linked with Aberdeen job like a month or two ago, so obviously that must have fell through. Would I take him? I don't know. I mean, Poland's a pretty good level. The Poland national team, he, he, he must be pretty decent. I would take a chance. Do you think if we signed him, he could he could persuade Robert Lewandowski to come? Maybe. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Let's get this guy. Um, Carl Robinson, for me, it's a no. Stephen Presley. I mean, I like Stephen Presley. Hearts legend, you know, great player for us. Brilliant centre back, loved him. Had a good national career as well, decent national career. But I, I don't think he's the man. Um, yeah, he hasn't had a job in what over three years uh, since he left Carlisle United. I just don't really see it happening. Mike Talberg, I'm going to say no. Don't know who he is. No information on him here, so it's a no for me. Ian Holloway, last managed Grimsley Town, um, nearly what two and a half years ago for me. It's a no. Alright, moving on here then, we've got Brian Barry Murphy. Now, who the hell calls their second name Barry? I mean, what what is this? Brian Barry, this should actually rule him out. This puts him in the same situation as Craig Lafine. This guy should not get the job based on having the second name Barry. Or maybe we should feel sorry for him and give him the job so he can afford to actually go and get that name changed. Brian Barry Murphy, what a fucking shocker. Of a name that is poor Brian, eh? I mean, his parents must have hated him to give him the second name Barry. I've never seen a name like that in my life. Uh, moving through, we've got Lee Boyer, Paul. I don't think any of these names are any good. Uh, Gary McSheffer, Graham Alexander, hell no. Graham Alexander, this is the same Graham Alexander that lost with Mullerwell to an Irish team twice in um, European qualifiers. Lost to Sligo Rovers twice. That actually might make him worse than Craig Levine so yeah he's on the same ship as Craig Levine and hopefully that ship lands up in the fucking Bermuda Triangle and is never seen again because there's no way Graham Alexander should be getting the job uh we've got Neil Lennon Neil Lennon very underrated I think Neil Lennon's a good manager I think he gets a lot of hate I think he played a, a, a massive role in Celtic getting nine in a row played a big role in the quadruple treble I think he done good at his last uh, club in Cyprus He's done good at Hibs, but yeah, he's definitely not the man to take over Hearts, but I do think 
he gets a bad reputation, especially with Celtic fans that want to blame him on the, the downfall of the club. But I think Neil Lennon is um, underrated. With Steven Gerrard, would I take Steven Gerrard? Maybe. Maybe, aye, why not? He won the league with Angels. Let's see what he can do with Hearts. And as we move through, guys, that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm not going to go through every single one of these because, I, I mean, if it's going to be anybody, it'll probably be somebody in the uh, the top bit here. But I'm hoping there'll be more names added to this shortlist. I'm hoping there'll be more names will come uh, to through attrition. At, like, I don't know, <laughs> next couple of weeks. Or maybe we ain't got that long, actually. Next couple of days. Because we need to appoint somebody soon. But yeah. Uh, out, of, out of all these options, man, there's not many I would take. Uh, probably out of them all, I, I would rather go for like the Poland, the former Poland manager, or like the current manager of Hammerby, or maybe Stephen Naismith, because like I said, it's his first opportunity and he might be good. You know, we don't really know, but I don't really fancy taking any of these managers, honestly. Looking at these names, it makes me regret what Hart's done even more. I didn't want Nielsen to go, but, but looking at these names, it's like, Jesus Christ, what have we done? What a mistake we've made. Anyway, guys, that's it. Any of these names you guys like? Is there anybody here you want to see be the Hearts manager? Let me know in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next one. And, of course, until then, peace.